Okay, this is a PET bell. First trick is to get this just as tight as you can get it. Two people can tighten it as tight as they can, and it's not tight enough. So you want a cheater bar of some sort. We got this bolt here, and we tighten it with that. And that allows that switch behind the door to not trip. There's a switch right back here, and it trips somewhere back there. There it is. It trips. So, if you get that really, really tight, it won't trip. It'll allow you a bigger bell. Um, the plastic will start fighting you as you get towards the top. So you want to stop the bell, stop the the ram at the bottom, and let it sit and crackle for a minute. It gets it gets a little bit of memory in the uh, plastic, and the temperature will play a play a role in this. So. It behaves differently in the cold than it does the, the warm weather. So we take it all the way up to now don't don't look through here necessarily, but look between the gate and the door. If I can get a good shot of it here. Mm. There we go. Okay. If I can get it to focus. Have to zoom in here. Sorry. Okay, that back wall back there. See that thing right in the middle of the screen? That's the tip of a spike. So when you're even with that, the very tip of that spike, maybe you can see it better from up here, but yeah, there's that spike right there. But from down here, in between the gate and the door, you'll see just the very tip of it. That's where you want to be. Okay, now once you open the door, the computer goes into manual mode. It's no longer in automatic mode. So what you'll do is put it on down. And you hit the button. Well, you have to have the gate down. Hit the button and it's going to give a little little extra smash with everything it's got. You just hold the button until it stops on its own. That's every bit of strength it has. So now we'll let it crackle. You hear it crackle. So it's putting a little bit of memory in that plastic. And we'll let it sit for a minute while we're gathering our, you know, our uh, wires and all that stuff, our pallet. We'll let it sit and crackle for a minute, get a little memory, and then we'll let some pressure off. So it's been setting for a minute. It's got a little memory in it. Now we're gonna let off some pressure. So we turn this from down back up and we'll just hold down this button for a little bit, not too much. You don't wanna let off too much pressure. So the max size of a bell on this baler is when this yellow line meets this yellow line. So basically, OCC, this right here, will be even with this. That's how you get the biggest cardboard bell, is when you match those two up. You can't do that with plastic. It's, it pushes back way, way, way too much. So. Um, you can do it with aluminum, cardboard, all that, but not with this stuff. Um, so I'm going to let some pressure off, but you don't want to let off too much because then you're going to get the, it's going to get stuck in there. But you want to let some off because it's going to put so much pressure. If we, if we were to, to put wires around it right now, it would pop every wire. There's way too much pressure on it. So and that should do it. We'll lock it out. We'll wrap it up. Um, another trick is this 12 gauge wire. You don't want to do it with 14 gauge. It has to be 12 or it will pop. Okay, as far as tying the wires, you want to tie them pretty tight because you've already let off a lot of pressure. Uh, you don't want the bell growing so big that it's not going to come out. It's going to hit the gate or pop the gate up shut the machine off that's a huge pain so 
Um, yeah, tying pretty tight. With the OCC, I might add, you just go till the arrows, the yellow matches. It's even when you're looking at it, even. And you don't have to give it that extra smash. You don't have to let off any pressure. You just strap it and eject it. You're good. So that's all there is to it. Go ahead. Okay, that's the finished product. You can see it's a beast, along with all the others. You want to wrap them really good because the heat will make them expand and they could pop. It remains to be seen where the actual heat this summer is going to cause issues, but so far, we're okay. You just gotta let that pressure off of them in the baler before you tie them.